January 2020. The sun is out and I'm following the muddy, muddy Wye Valley path. I'm about two miles up from Chepstow and my plan is over the next couple of days to follow it all the way up to Ross and Wye in the heart of the border country. I don't really know what the path is going to be like. I've done bits of it in the past. I've done Simmons Yacht and I've done a bit of kayaking down the river. But it's just a beautiful place to be and I look forward to exploring it and I look forward to sharing it with you. time really. The forests above the Wye Valley are just beautiful. So they feel so old and they're just jam-packed full of life. Um, I, met a, I met a lady um, in Tintern uh, called Fiona, a dog walker, and um, she was telling me that there are boar in these woods, there are deer in these woods, and the river itself is just jam-packed full of all sorts. They have otters, um, seals come up because it's a tidal river you see so uh, they get things coming in from the sea. They actually had a porpoise the other day uh, which just sounds crazy to me um, considering we're so far inland but um, yeah this day has just been so nice. It's peaceful you know. Um, when you're out on your own you you just get time, you get a chance to relax and I don't think it's something that I do give myself that much time for regardless, just taking that day for myself and going out into the woods and just, just enjoy myself so it's been good, um, had a little bite to eat, it's about, uh, oh yeah cheese and pickle sandwich, it was class, um, it's about 2, 2 o'clock or something like that now and I've got just over or just under actually seven miles to go so I should be done way by I don't know five six something like that got myself a wee hotel booked for tonight for the first leg so I'm looking forward to having some fish and chips and maybe a pint cheers for now
civilization less than a mile to do, I reckon. Three miles in, got 17 miles in total to do today, so only 14 miles to go. It's a lot flatter today apparently, um, especially for the first half. I'm walking pretty flat runs across the river, don't know if you can see in the distance, but uh, it's nice and easy, nice and easy going. So plan is to get to Ross on the Y for a decent time, and then I'll be getting a bus to Hereford and train back home to Birmingham. So, yeah, the weather today is supposed to be quite, you know, quite wet. Not seen much of it yet, but later on it's supposed to rain. So don't know how much filming you'll get to do. Uh, but we'll just see how it goes. Got my waterproof on, got my hat on, so feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'll check in with you later. nothing. I checked out on the map and there's supposed to be something down here but not that I can see so I'm just sort of following my nose right now. Um, I've just gone up the hill at Simmons Yacht to a place called Simmons Rock so I've left the river for a wee bit. Um, so yeah I'll just have to see where this takes me. Uh, there was a signpost saying to Ross what I don't want to do though is end up stuck on some sort of uh, road there. I'm going to keep to the trails as much as possible, but let's see what happens. <laughs> so far. Uh, so I've just gone up a really big hill, hence the pink face, but uh, it's been nice. Um, i trying to think what to say really. It's, uh, it's been a good couple of days. The Y Valley is just stunning. Um, I'm hoping that eventually I'll get to come back and do some of the other parts of the route. Maybe, maybe see if I can go all the way one day, uh, or over a few days more likely. Um, yeah, so just feeling very grateful to be here. Um, but my legs are tired. I've had this blister growing in the back of my foot. Um, well, my left foot for about five or so miles now. Uh, and I think that's just it telling me that I've been in the hard yards 
and it's time to stop, which it nearly is. So if you've been following me, thank you very much. And yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm.